In 1A six-man football, two longtime rivals went at it in Johnson County as KC played host to Midwest. KC entered the contest at 6-0 and and Midwest was 4-2. and What a wild and woolly first quarter of play. Midwest and White will open up the scoring as quarterback Caden Best will find Nick Ray all by himself for the touchdown. The two-point kick was good and the Oilers led 8-0. Casey answered right back as quarterback Hunter Rouse will chuck this one to Reed Stafford. A great throw and a great catch for a TD. The extra point was missed, so it was 8-6 in favor of Midwest. The Oilers would come right back as Best found Caleb Smith for a touchdown. The extra point try was missed, so Midwest leading at this point 14-6, and this first quarter really was something else. On the ensuing kickoff, Danny Ramirez of KC will go the length of the field and he zooms along the near sideline for the touchdown. So just like that, the Bucks trail by just two at 14 to 12. What a play. So Midwest needed an answer and they got one as Best will find Logan Drinkwalter and the Oilers made the two point kick on this touchdown and led the number one team in six man by 10 points. The Buckaroos of KC put together a scoring drive thanks to some determined running by Hunter Elmer as he breaks tackles and scoots right to the end zone. So at this point, KC trailing in that first half 22-18. In the second half, KC really put the pedal to the metal, so their extensive conditioning program was paying off. Danny Ramirez breaks another big one, turns on the Jets for a TD, so that gave the Bucks a commanding 60-34 lead. Ramirez wasn't finished as he scored again as KC beats Midwest 81-34 to secure a number one seed in the playoffs. They'll finish the regular season at normative services. Midwest will make the playoffs too, and they'll play Hannah this week. A win for the Oilers will give them a number three seed. A loss means a four seed.